sisters whose mission is to be light in this dark world period yeah period. in today's video um as you may know it is february and it's the month of love so we want to do sorry so we want to do a video about the five love languages yeah so we took a quiz um i wish we, we could have filmed that yeah whole process we... because it was hilarious but we only got 10 minutes left on our camera so right yeah so we filmed that and we all got our own results nobody know each other's results so we're gonna go over everybody's results and talk about them mm -hmm. because i'm sure some are similar and some some are different okay so if you like these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Join the light squad today because it's lit. That <laughs> 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 reason, um, thumbs, up. thumbs up this video and click that bell right next to the subscribe button so you can get notified every time we upload. All right, let's get into the video. Get okay. into it, yeah. <laughs> okay, so guess what? 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 My primary love language is physical touch. <laughs> I like That's being touched. That's not shocking. Well, so twenty six percent. I'll read the description. Sure. So for each, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So a person whose primary language is physical touch is not surprisingly very touchy. Hugs, pats on the back, and thoughtful touches on the arm. They can all all be ways to show excitement, concern, care, and love. Physical presence and accessibility are crucial. Mm. While neglect or abuse can be unforgivable, mm -hmm. unforgivable. and destructive, that is so mean. Appropriate and timely touches communicate warmth, safety, and love to you. Mm -hmm. All right, Britt. You're up. Let us know. Mine was acts of service. Wow. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it says, can vacuuming the floors really be an expression of love? Absolutely. <laughs> Anything you do to ease the burden of responsibilities weighing on an active service person will speak volumes. Wow. The words he or she must want to hear. Let me do that for you. Wow. <laughs> Laziness, broken commitments, and making work for them tell speakers of this language their feelings don't matter. Wow. Ooh. That sounds like you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. Finding ways to serve speaks loud volumes to the recipient of these acts. Wow. That's that highly accurate. Like you. Yeah. That does. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I was da 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 physical setup. Oh my <laughs> god. I just feel like I need to be touching you and you need to be touching me for me to know that you love me. For real. Because mm -hmm. it's like, if you don't touch me, I don't like, think you love me. <laughs> Why are you not touching me? It says, this language isn't all about the bedroom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, it's different. Uh, I guess it depends on your percentage. Oh. A person whose primary language is physical touch is, not surprisingly, very touchy. Physical touch fosters a sense of security and belonging. Yeah, yeah. physical touch. Alrighty guys, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Acts of service. Gifts. Who, who's, who's most okay. acts of service? Gifts. No, I vote gifts. Is gifts an option? I feel like, yeah, gifts. gifts. I think it's gifts. Right, wait, wait, gifts. wait. Wait. No. Gifts. I'm gonna say receiving gifts. Yeah, I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna say yeah, you was talking about gifts. gifts. But you know, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm saying gifts. Definitely gifts. With if it's acts of service, that ain't gonna be shocking either. I'm gonna say acts of service. Are you ready? I'm yeah. gonna gifts. Acts of service. Acts of service. What? Wow. Oh, yeah. 33%. Oh, wow. That's the same thing. Oh. 33%? So yeah. Are the oh, same. Wow. That's crazy. That's yeah. Funny. My second, so my second choice was receiving gifts. So 20%. Mm -hmm. We didn't get to the second one. Oh, shoot. Sure. Okay, well, just start with me. Then. Just start with me first. Go back. Go first. My second one was 20%, and that was receiving gifts because I'm so good. What's your girl? <laughs> <laughs> and it says, don't mistake in this love language for materialism. It is. <laughs> Uh, the receiver of gifts uh, rise on the love, thoughtfulness, and a effort behind the gift. If you speak this language, the perfect gift or gesture shows that you are known, you are cared for, and you are prized above whatever was sacrificed to bring Aww, the gift absolutely. to you. Yeah. A missed birthday, anniversary, mm -hmm. or a hasty, thoughtless mm -hmm. gift would Ooh. be dis- What? Oh, tough. <laughs> would be disastrous. <laughs> 
So with the absence of everyday so with the absence of everyday gestures, gifts are visual representations of love and our treasure great. <laughs> And we ain't get no I'm straight. I I I got you Starbucks. So the thought of that's okay. Starbucks. I took you out shopping. As long as you think about I it. I didn't do nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> but you sent me. A, you you FaceTime me that day. I did. You did. I so it's did. a thought that it was a thought. It was a thought. I'm straight with that. I'm straight with that. She moved though. It's 20. Now, 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 if my partner didn't give me a gift, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's going to be a problem. Right. Right. That would be a problem. What's your second? My second one is quality time. Percent. Oh. Mm. Uh, 27%. Mm. Oh. Read it. In the vernacular of quality time, nothing says I love you like full undivided attention. Mm -hmm. Being there for this type of person is critical, mm -hmm. but really being there with the TV off, fork and knife down, and all chores and tasks on standby mm -hmm. makes your significant other feel truly special and loved. Distractions, postponed dates, Ooh. or the failure to listen can be especially hurtful. Quality time also means sharing quality conversation and quality activities. Ooh, that sounds like you. Absolutely. I need all of your attention. Yeah. Wow. So sorry about it. Ah. So we can say this is accurate. Yeah. 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 Mine was Jordan's like same receiving gifts with mine was 27%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's the same description. Okay. My second one was receiving gifts as well. Was it really? Yeah. Wow. At 23%. Yeah. Y'all steady clicking. Gifts, gifts, gifts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My third one was words of affirmation at 19%. Um, actions don't always speak louder than words. If this is your love language, unsolicited compliments mean the world to you. Hearing the words, I love you, are important. Hearing the reasons behind that love sends your spirit skywards. Insults can leave you shattered and are not easily forgotten. You thrive on hearing kind and encouraging words that build you up. My third one, which was 17%, is physical touch. It's wow. the same description mm -hmm. as Jada's. Wow, that's shocking. That's what third one? 17%? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which words? Uh, mine is words of affirmation. For your third one? Yeah, 23%. Wow. Oh, mm -hmm. mine's is 19%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my third one is words of affirmation oh. too. Oh, it's which one is that? 17 Mm -hmm. I had a tie for two of them. The fourth one I had was 17% and that's quality time. My fourth one was acts of service, which was 10%. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My fourth one was quality time as well with 13%. I wonder if that has to do with because we both was kind of in long distance relationships. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I wonder yeah. if that has something to do with that. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure. My fourth one was acts of service at 19%. And the yeah. last one. Quality time. Which is weird. I thought that would have been first for me. It's my last right. one. And 13%. So yeah, and words of affirmation, that used to be my my actual love language. And now it's the least of my... It changes. Yes. And you know what I noticed? For me... Um, um, yes, yeah, so our camera died. So here we are. Um, I was saying that your love language can change. And mine's changed from quality time and physical touch to words of affirmation being one of my top ones. Well, my least one was words of affirmation, which was 10%. That used to be my top love language. However, as she said, it does change you know, life experiences. Yeah. Changes maybe the way you really love. Now. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah. probably get a lot of affirmation. I mean, love is an action word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you get in a certain amount of that type of action, you don't necessarily yeah. want need that or want that anymore. Right. It's the, it's weird. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just need you to do all of it. Okay. I'm just a needy person. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so. I yeah yeah. Um, my least one was receiving gifts ten percent. I like gifts, but it's like I don't need you to give them to. I'm yeah. a material girl, so <laughs> my last one was thirteen percent. That was quality time, which is weird. You didn't yeah. want me to be Tom Short? I do, but well, I like. You should be seeing him about every month. Yeah. Right, but I mean, I think I learned how to adapt to yeah. not having that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Yeah. But once he come back, it might be different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when he gone, I like you send me cash at money. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Or or plan out a date while you gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Junk like that. 
and then receiving gifts. It was like, cash at me right now. What's not yeah. clicking? What's not clicking, Steven? Steven? <laughs> you talking about that one? Yeah. 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 So, that is well, acts of service has I been that. Money. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but I think acts of service has been mm. my, well, language since I, I got one. Mm. So that, and I think words of affirmation was kind of closer to that. Mm. But mm. I'm more of a gifts person. Mm. He knows that. It shows. Yeah. Mm. It shows. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. <laughs> um, I encourage you to go find out what yes. your love language is. We'll put the, the quiz in the description box. Why do you guys think it's important to know your love language and to take this quiz? So that you're not giving to your partner what they don't need or want. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then it's going to cause problems in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So actually, yeah, if you are in a relationship or if, even if you, uh, you go on your first date, y'all should take that or ask them what they love language is. You should mm -hmm. even take it if you're single. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying like if when you date dating somebody, mm -hmm. y'all should take it. Yeah. Right. So you can know about your partner, know about yourself. Because the thing is, these love languages, you communicate this way, not just with your partner but with yeah, other right. relationships like your mm -hmm. family at yeah. work mm -hmm. and they had a quiz for that too for mm -hmm. like family and stuff like that so this can help in different areas because but specifically for your relationship you can really not be happy if they don't know your love language right it's the miscommunication mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. so they'd be like if you just went out and bought me a junk and you wasn't even thinking about it it's kind of disrespectful mm -hmm. then you're gonna make me mad yeah, yeah. and you're bringing me gifts when i want a hug yeah like, like, no like, yeah. you're saying junk but i need to see it right, right. Or, you, or you or you saying junk and you don't keep your word right or you're not listening to a word i'm saying Make and if you don't listen to it, like, you know what? <laughs> but look, if Every you don't day. listen to a word they say, you're not gonna know that person anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So right, it's just it's just knowledge to have about yourself and others mm -hmm. to help you communicate better and have better relationships right. and love better. Because yeah. mm -hmm. if I know now, you know, that Brittany's love language is acts of service, I'm going to start doing stuff for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, so she can love me more. Right. Sick. I mean, it's even more attractive. <laughs> That's gay. <laughs> it's even more attractive, like, when they're actually trying to learn you. Yeah. Right. So it makes the relationship much better. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is all about bearing your relationship with yourself and other people. But, um, and you know what they have too? They have love languages where you can give the love language to yourself. So oh. you can do acts of service for yourself or you can give yourself physical touch. Like maybe, you know. I mean, that's a little weird. That okay. Is, no, yeah, maybe like uh, you self care. Or like, yeah, like soaking mm. your feet or something. Yeah. Like they have it if you know your shoe. Yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. that's the way you're touching yourself. Your nails. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so you could do it for yourself too. Mm hmm. Now don't, take, <laughs> now don't take that too I far. I mean, we don't yeah. mean. And, no, we're talking about in the pure way. Yeah. In, in the good way. way. The so, good wholesome yes. way. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> right. But, yes. But it's just good to know Ooh. yourself before you get with somebody. Mm. So Absolutely. that would be easier. So when you do get in a relationship, you already know yourself. And they're not confused on right. what to do. Because right. Because if one day he do something or she do something for you and you find yourself catching the attitude, you're going to realize, oh, that's why. Because he's not speaking my love language. Mm -hmm. Right. Or I'm not speaking their love language. Right. You know? So you already know ahead. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, I mean, we did say love language can't change. So if they... If the love language you had before and it's not fulfilling you anymore, take this quiz and you'll see the change that you had based off of the period of time you've been in your relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She ain't let you be in a relationship for three years. Girl, she a relationship girl. Yeah. <laughs> girl, girl. 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 But yeah, so, um, you know, oh, take this quiz. We recommend it. And let us know your results down in the comments. Are you going to say they can go and learn the other loves in the Bible? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Y'all just love. Learn. Right. Right. Uh -huh. Right. Right. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you put you in the back. Right. <laughs> Put your face on. <laughs> right. But you know what? I did hear somebody say, but I don't know if this is in the Bible, but somebody said God's love language is trust. I guess mm -hmm. if he asking so you know much of it. Like for us to trust him. Yeah. yeah. That would make sense. That's deep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to look into that, but I feel like yeah, that would make sense, I guess though. it is, though. Because, yeah. I mean, if he has control of your whole life, he just wants you to trust him. Right. I guess it is. That's right. Um, food for thought.
<laughs> Don't read your Bible on love. There's so much love in the Bible. You know, I mean, the Bible is is full of love because it's God. God is love. Yes, and so all of that is intertwined together. So just read upon that and go and love somebody. And the Bible is God's love letter to you, right? Uh -huh. Oh, he's so romantic. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, guys, take this quiz. It'll be in the description box below, as well as make sure you subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. Click the bell right Let next to it. Let us know your results down below too. Mm -hmm. Very true. Um, click the bell button so you get notified every time we post a video. Follow our socials. Use that ten percent code from Elevated Faith because they do have new merch, and it helps us in return. Um, send us an encouraging message in the comments below because you know we need it. Is that our love language? <laughs> Yeah, acts of service. That was yeah. my least, but I oh, still. What's the continue love language? Acts of service. All of them, I guess. All of them. <laughs> or yeah, but acts yeah. of service by clicking that subscribe oh, button. Oh, that is an act of service. And somebody show sure love by doing yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody request a mukbang so that we can do a mukbang Ooh, on the floor again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So also, if you want us to do a mukbang, you probably should hit that cash app too, so that we can get food. <laughs> And that's, requesting that's, food that we should eat. Yeah, uh, that's an extra oh, service. Yeah, yeah. Food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to see. Oh, food. what if we try food that they uh, recommend? Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Do that. We hungry. But <laughs> but we like seafood, so you know, drop some money in there for a seafood boil. I didn't see y'all want another seafood boil for another Monday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jordan's our uh, PR. Um, what are you? Our uh, sales rep. Yeah. She's a material girl. Material girl. <laughs> All right, y'all. Anyway, we've been going on for a long time. For a long time. We'll see y'all um, next week. All righty. Stay blessed and stay lean. Bye. Bye. Bye.